Hello everyone, my name is Terrorism and welcome back to Stories The Path of Destinies. We are about to head uh, into observatory where we are going to find a dead scientist that will uh, prove uh, Zenobia's uh, her uh, father's uh, evil plans. So let's just uh, get going with these uh, ravens uh, trying to block us. Oh, got hit there. Time to set put some uh, fire in this. There we go. Come on. Don't you think I'd know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you join in? Uh, no. I'd destroy his books and, and I'd... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You're not completely wrong. They've <laughs> resurrected one of his victims. Well, look, I mean, look, it's not exactly alive, but it can talk. A true I'm witness, still, uh, she said. I still wonder, how... When did you learn that? I'd like to know that myself. I don't remember hearing about this myself before. There we go. We should uh, be almost there. Just uh, draw this. Uh, Good thing Renato this didn't have vertigo. That was a little bit close. Oh no no no! And time to switch now. There we go. That should uh, cover us, and uh, we can go through here. Even more ravens. Did I actually survive that uh, three? Time to attack uh, without getting hit. Ravens didn't smell any better dead, Renata thought. <laughs> I can't believe uh, that I actually. Or actually, I missed uh, did it say perfect or not, but still, if I actually did uh, survive uh, without getting hit, I'm really surprised that. And there is that observatory. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken special care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared at the carnage. He didn't want me to hear the witness, did he? I guess not. What's your plan? She asked. So, Renato explained his brilliant gambit. Sending Lapino to get the Ibra Stone, become super powerful and corrupted, provoke the Emperor into using the core against him, thus blowing up both of them, and hopefully the fleet too. Let me visit your council, she said, shaken. I want to help. Could he really trust her? For this. Uh... Yeah, let's take her to that uh, secret base, since uh, now Lapino is dealt with, and uh, he was probably one who ratted us out. Trust her and take her to the secret base. Reynardo's plan worked. 
Zenobia was now convinced her father was mad and had to be stopped. But it seemed too easy. Did he really convince her, or was she playing him like a widow? Why hesitate now? He should uh, tell her the exact location of the secret base and meet her there. He'd done it. He made Zenobia see how evil her father really was. He wished she didn't feel this urge to join in the rebellion. After all, he'd taken care of the Emperor, right? Yeah, but she'd always been conscientious like that. She told him she had to go somewhere first. So Renato gave her the location of the secret base and they agreed to meet in the ruins. He had a very good feeling about this. And I'm uh, not having a really great feeling about this, but I'm uh, thinking this might be the right choice here. And it's probably going to what turn out Zenobia being wrong to choice. What was more important than meeting the rebel council? Had he made a mistake? Sending her to the ruins? No. He knew they could trust each other. He could trust her because she never broke her word. And she could trust him because she could see right through him. Well, she'd probably be there well before him. She at least didn't have to fight her way to rainstorm the ravens. Hmm. Renata wondered yeah, this how much is, uh, getting she had a, known about the book she I'm protected. getting a second thought Enough to tell this. her son to protect it. Enough to tell Renato to protect her son. He let her down there. Hmm. That's uh, actually been... Uh, I've been wondering about. When does uh, the book's uh, enchantment uh, kick in? Since, uh, considering it, if it uh, allows uh, one to relieve, uh, relieve uh, all the events before, but uh, both of uh, its uh, previous owners had uh, died there for me to get, uh, or more like for Reynard to get it, what uh, actually activates it? Does it uh, begin with uh, reading it? If it, if it, if it, that's the case, it's kind of strange that uh, her she didn't uh, survive, uh, or she didn't read it. Her son, I can uh, see why he didn't have uh, necessarily time to read it, but uh, why she couldn't have uh, read uh, that. Uh, That's what I'm wondering. As he came around the bend, there was Lupino, unconscious on the side of the path. And Renata could smell a familiar, sweet, smoky scent. Oh no. Ooh, Zenobia. It had to be. She never used a combat spell when she could use drowsy gas. That meant... She had the Iblis Stone. What would it do to her? She hated her father now. She'd kill him for sure. The council oh, wouldn't yes. mind if she killed the emperor, but murdering her father would destroy her. He had to get to whatever ledge she was on and talk her down from it. And uh, actually do something about it. Two eyes good. Well, that kind of backfired. One eye dead. That side one uh, got me. Well, we are soon at the rebel base. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far, so good. It will probably be soon fire here. I just hope I'm wrong about this.
everyone in the council chamber was dead. Zenobia stood shivering in the courtyard, drenched oh. in blood. Why? He managed. They, they started arguing with me. I lost my temper and I, I wanted their blood. Well, not me. The stone did. Why did you take it from Lupino? I had a plan. You had a, a stupid plan, she said. I'm going to go kill my father now. No, no you don't. You can't. You'll, you'll just take his place. You'll become worse than him. Get out of my way, or I'll kill you too. I can't let uh, her do that. Stop her and the Apely Stone. Xenopia had the Apely Stone. Now she was uh, strong enough to defeat the Emperor, but the stone would uh, consume her soul. Trying to stop her would uh, likely be fatal, but the feelings she had for him had to mean something, right? He had to try. Will this actually end up uh, with the uh, game over screen once again? Most likely. Yeah. You won't kill me, he said. And I won't let you kill the Emperor. Enraged, she raised the sword. You hate him too? He could sense the Iblis Stone, yearning for his death. But she didn't strike. If you kill him, he'll destroy you. I know you. Shut up! She shouted, her sword trembling. I won't lose you again. Not for anything. Get away from me! He said, and he was very close. I can't lose I'm you again. I'm liking this. And he was in reach of her sword now. I hate him! I hate you too! I love you. He said for the very first time. And then she was weeping. He was holding her. The sword had dropped from her hand. It's actually burnt. He glanced at the Iblis Stone. It was no longer the black of the void. It looked like coal. No. It glowed. Like a cinder. It was crackling, burning, crumbling <laughs> into ashes. You've always loved me, haven't you? She said. She was weak. The stone had taken so much from her. I'm always, liking this. He said. She staggered as he helped her up. Let me take you away. Where? The island of Avalon. The sisters will heal you. He will follow us. Then we need the Farfarer, the fastest ship in the Empire. I'm actually liking this story so far. Especially after uh, all of those uh, previous ones that uh, kind of uh, made a little bit backstory here. But. Oh, yeah. But will this the actually be a, the end? Ship. They'd have to take it back. Or will this be just one of her possible endings so far? We'll have to see. And let's use that back door once again. feeling that was the back door to something. But what? Oh yes, it's a back door. Actually, I'm going to need those two. Now we're at full health. Something on. And there's our next... Uh, Stop. And teleporting to next ship. And there it was. His beautiful skycraft, the Farfarer. They would fare very far indeed. Beyond the Empire, beyond the reach of the Empire, to the mystical island of Avalon. He didn't know exactly where it was, but he knew he could find it, and they would find peace there. Second star on the right, and straight on till morning, <laughs> laughed Zenobia. And they laughed together for the first time in a long time. Nice Peter Pan reference there. Jump 
moving on to the next one. And that ship. There and uh, let's get rid of these ravens. And I can hit there. Let's get the heal up. And down the next one. What did you do in front of these platform stalls? That's actually quite a good question. Can I get uh, one of you off the ship? Nope. And time to dodge uh, cannonballs. Or fireballs. No, 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 no. Very close one. Very close one. Ah, we are taking this platform instead. And it looks like this will be final fight here. Well, for this storyline at least. I'm not sure if uh, this is actual ending here or will we actually need to do something more here. They seem endless now. Did I actually kick uh, one of them uh, down uh, from this ship? One of those exploding ones. I think I actually did. So. But they did not go unnoticed. Scout ships lifted off, and a long lance of the Imperial flagship. Renato turned downwind. To gain speed. The Raven ships could pursue, but they couldn't close. The far speaker croaked, You return her and live! Go sacrifice yourself, yelled Renato. Then you won't have her either. On the flagship, the Emperor was oh, reading dear. some arcane weapon. It couldn't be. It was the core. A devastating beam lanced out of the flagship. Renato zigzagged wildly to keep the Farfair out of it. Now the Raven scout ships were closing the distance. Can we actually make it or not? Then came a blinding flash, and the air was searingly hot all around him. There was a thunderous all right, uh, roar. All right, Borosan stable. Smelled burnt oak and burnt feathers and burnt flesh. But when he could hear and see again, they were alive and unhurt, and they were alone in the sky. Zenobia embraced him. They had done it. Through luck and through love, they had won the war. Avalon, here we come, he said as he held her arms wide in the prow of the boat <laughs> and feel its speed. Maybe the real Avalon is wherever we're together, she said. And so, after a bit of an argument, Renardo and Zenobia went to one of the two Avalons. The one shrouded <laughs> in mists, or the one in their hearts, but which one they went to, I'll never tell. Oh, come on. <laughs> He'd uh. done it. He'd forged his own destiny. Well, he hadn't actually done done it, but he knew what he would do. Renato smiled at the book. He practically wanted to kiss it. The kid's sacrifice hadn't been in vain. He'd saved the book and save the world. Renato owed him and his mother so much. Renato lowered the mainsail and let the Farfarer shoot forward in the breeze. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. 
This time, he would win. Well, that was a really fun game. I really, I'm a sucker for uh, stories, uh, especially ones with uh, what if uh, scenarios. I really love uh, them. I, I always, uh, when I read uh, stories myself, wonder what would uh, it have actually been if uh, something else has happened. I'm uh, that type of uh, guy. I, I'm uh, thinking about uh, all the possible endings that. Uh, didn't actually happen, and I really can't wait to. I I enjoyed this. This actually pulled all the strings. I enjoyed those type of things. Also, before continuing, voice of the narrator is Julian Casey, and I'll have to say you did amazing job. I really enjoyed listening you speak. I don't know who actually who. He is, but uh, I l really like that uh, narrator in the background uh, all the time, and a uh, really good uh, storytelling in there. Uh. But like I was saying, I I often uh, find uh, myself wondering uh, on uh, what uh, could you really like. Uh, I mean, uh, what uh, might have uh, actually happened instead of uh, what was uh, originally written in. And uh, this uh, game uh, really did uh, that uh, different choices uh, well. There were a few problems. One of them being that uh, those uh, beginning choices, there were only three different ones, and uh, as I played uh, them uh, through more and more, they just uh, started to feel uh, getting a little bit boring uh, to go through same uh, thing uh, again, so that's one of uh, one of uh, negative things about this game, but other than that, I truly, really enjoyed this. It uh, was uh, really fun, those uh, nice action schemes here and there. And story too, even though it was uh, sometimes a little bit simple, it was uh, still, uh, still a really enjoyable one. Anyway, Truth Finder unlocked. Didn't we already have this? The Truth Finder will help you find the paths that led to the truths you have not found it. Look for this, yeah, uh, we already had that, didn't we? Anyway, I'll be checking this one here. Uh, come on. Apparently I can't uh, ac see it uh, properly now. Oh, come on, I want to see this. Oh well. But I think uh, this is a good place to end uh, this game, and uh, I'll uh, highly recommend, uh, if you enjoyed this series, get this game and play it uh, yourself to see those paths that I didn't uh, explore myself, to see where it uh, leads you. Anyway. Thanks everyone for watching, I will see you on next series, goodbye.